Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the font replacement override mod. So what you're going to want to do is read through the description all the, off the bat so you know what the mod is and if you need anything. If you guys want the chance to win a free pack, all you have to do is go over to I Am Simplicity Sim YouTube channel. That link is in the description below. Go ahead and hit sub. Once you're done doing that, go over to Twitch and follow me there at Simplicity Sim. That link is also in the description as well. As long as you attend a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday stream, you're good to go. Just make sure you comment on that stream so I know you were there. I will automatically put all names that commented on the stream in the raffle. So you have a chance to win. We always announce the winner either at the end or beginning of the next month. All right. So you guys lots of love. It is a pack of your choosing. So it's not a specific pack, just one that you want. All right. Now let's go ahead and click the override package. Once you do that, it's going to download in the top right corner of your screen. If you have Google Chrome, if you don't, it may download somewhere else. The point is you want to download it. Go to the bottom of the screen, select file explorer. Guys, if you have Mac, yours is going to be called finder and it's going to be a blue and white icon once you're here go ahead and open up the downloads folder if you can't find the downloads folder maybe on the left all right go to the bottom of the screen right click that file explorer icon yet again guys if you have mac you'll right click and select new finder window Come over here and locate that documents folder. If you can't see the documents folder, look on the left. If you find that you have the documents folder, but you don't see the EA folder, it could mean that you need to load up your EA game. So what that means is stop what you're doing, open up the game, play a little bit of the game, save or exit the game. You don't have to really save it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure the computer identifies that the game is there. All right. Now, Electronic Arts, open that up. Sims 4, open that up mods folder, open that up. Once you're in the mods folder, you'll see files. If you've installed other mods, if you didn't then you'll only see resource cfg now if you guys want to be like you know organized you can just right click select new and then folder here's where you can label the mod so we'll call it the the font override okay i spelled override all right there we go and yeah i did spell it wrong all right we're gonna go ahead and get that file and drag it into the folder back it out and there you go as long as it's in that mods folder you guys are good hit the exit button and head over to simplicitysim.com if you still need guidance and help out two ebooks there that you can download and use to your discretion i see you guys lots of love lots of light and until next time bye